All right, first nighttime video I've shot since the since the grinding train. Keen water tanks. Shooting from the back of my pickup. No, it's not very cinematically correct, but hey, it's just a hobby. Pulled up over here. I heard this. Uh, I was parked up on the spot up above where I did the changing the switch panel video, and I heard this train sounding his horn up at the tunnels. So I drove down here. There's a little bit more light, place I could park the truck. We shine it on the train, and uh, I got out. There was a pack of coyotes over there making all kinds of noise. Uh, if you've never heard them, they yip and yowl. They don't howl like, like, like more like barking and yipping like dogs. Sound like there were quite a few of them over there. And then I uh, saw a little uh, a doe walk by down the right of way road on the other side of the track. So a little bit of wildlife out tonight. I could have turned my brights on. I so seldom use them, I never think about it. Smell the brakes. My nighttime train. Alright, come down here and cut this guy at Caliente at the crossing. why this does that once you get past uh, under one times it darkens everything up so I guess I'll just have to leave it above that Thank you for being patient with my experimenting.
comes about a little after eight at night. I think I'm gonna scoot on down and catch this guy coming into the yard in Bakersfield, coming to the CP. If he uh, goes to the yard office to make a crew change, see what he does. Maybe he'll go on the passing track park tonight. I don't know. You know me, I love to speculate. Even at night. It's been a long time since I've been up in this area at night and actually looked up at the stars. I really miss that. Astronomy is one of my other passions. I have a really nice telescope, but I rarely ever get it out. In Bakersfield, because you can't see anything from town, you have to drive somewhere like this to get it out. Maybe I'll start doing that again now that I'm retired. I don't have to get up in the morning. It was really neat to actually see the Milky Way again. Just You don't see that in Bakersfield at all. See Venus, and Jupiter, and the Moon, Saturn, a couple of the bright stars. That's about it. Car coming up. I've only been here for about, I don't know, five minutes or so before the train came. And I already saw, I think this is about the 10th or 11th car going this way. All right, let's scoot on down to Bakersfield, see what we can catch down there. All right, well, I ended up coming down to Edison because. A train pulling up to the yard office in Bankers Hill isn't very exciting. Uh, I don't know how exciting this is, but be going a little faster through here. It's more, uh, it's, uh, the yard office area is pretty well lit too, but uh, anyway, neat place. The Jamaro live webcam is about a quarter of a mile behind me here over, the, over my shoulder. I was going to go down there, but there's not really much light down there. I thought this would work out a little better. Ooh, slowing down. Looks like you had a green signal. I don't know. I don't know what the speed limit is right here. Spot. Actually, it looks like he has a red signal down there. The green, you got oh, it's very blurry. Sorry about that. The green light way down there's a traffic uh, traffic signal down at uh, Weed Patch Highway. He doesn't have to stop at the intermediate, but he, unless he's been instructed to. But they have to slow down to restricted speed, which is, uh, I forget the wording, half the distance that you can stop a train within the sight of a, another train or an obstruction or a switch line against you or something fouling the tracks. And in uh, no case, in, uh, no faster than 20 miles per hour, if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, drop in the comments below. That uh, signal there is a come out signal for this uh, industry track here. This was once Edison, a very busy place for switching. There were once a, a 
bunch of tracks in. I think there were a couple, at least a couple more tracks right here where we're standing. And uh, that all pretty much started going away in the late 70s, I guess. By the time I, oh, well, he is, looks like he's coming to a stop. By the time I started working down here in the mid 80s, they still ran locals out here and did a little stuff, but not much. The trucks pretty much got all the business as they do now as far as the packing sheds go. The railroad still serves uh, Simplot down there by the uh, Jamara winery, but I noticed uh, recently that they removed the crossover just the other side of the Jamara crossing. And that the uh, Jamara uh, tracks that go into Jamara are no longer connected to the main line. I think those have actually been gone for quite a while. Well, there's another crossing down there called Pepper Drive. They've they're across that one. Yeah, and I can't tell what's going on. Looks like somebody driving down the right away. I don't know. This isn't exciting. <laughs> All right, let's drive down here and see what's going on. Yeah. Young men hard at work over there. Pack and shed. They process, uh, process they bring in uh, potatoes here carrots uh, I don't know if they do anything else maybe onions maybe and I don't know they may be changing they may be swapping crews out here nope I was wrong this signal is the come out signal for that end of the, this is the other end of that industry track. I didn't even know they put this thing in here. And the green signal that we saw down there that I said was a traffic signal at Weed Patch. I was sadly mistaken. That's the intermediate up at Jamara and it is definitely green but they have this guy stopped short of pepper drive and yep they're recruiting the train out here so PTI. I call them all con, but uh, they were Rinsenbergers and they were all con. PTI. I don't know. I can't keep up with them. The ones that haul the crews around and whatnot. All right, let's go down to Jamara. All right, move down here to Jamara. I believe. That that light, where that light is, you can see that box under. I believe that is the Edison live train cam. You can see the Jamara Tower in the background. I thought that the, uh, I just assumed that that uh, camera was on that tower, but uh, when you look at the train cam, it's, it's a little too far away. So, besides that, if it's on that tower, you'd be able to see. The crossing, I don't think you can. I've only looked at the Edison train cam a couple of times. We are looking uh, west towards Bakersfield. And this is the Jamara Winery. They make all kinds of stuff here. It's going to be juices and all kinds of things here now. It used to just be a winery. And when, uh, before they built the freeway, before 58 was built over there, you see the cars and trucks going by. Edison Highway was Highway 58, and we would drive through here at night. We lived up in Tashby, and we would come through here at night after visiting family down here, and it would stink. Oh, my gosh, it was awful. But uh, don't smell like that anymore. 
See, this guy's got a green. That is the Simplot facility there. Lone car hanging out waiting for somebody to come and get it. Picking up speed now. I believe the speed limit, I'll look and make sure, but I believe the speed limit's 50 from here on into town. Maybe even be, maybe even 60 for the uh, intermodals. But I've already been wrong a couple of times tonight, so we're probably not wrong again. Especially after the day I've had today. All right. Well, I'm not going to go to the yard. I wouldn't beat him there anyway. That was kind of cool, chasing this train down the mountain. One more tonight. We're out between. Uh, we can see the signals down there. That is uh, West Say or East Seiko. The intermediate down there at Snow Road. Even though it's the last train I shot, I'm going to stick it in the middle because I already did my end piece on the other one. Across from all the uh, truck stops and truck repair places along old Golden, uh, Golden State Highway, Golden State Road. This is the, uh, see the road there? That is the uh, original alignment of Highway 99. Nineteen fifteen alignment. You can see going to say.
you can see the cars going by in 99, there no cars going by. All right. I ended up following uh, one train from Woodford down to Caliente, cutting twice at Edison at a crew change. Decided to put this train up there. It's finally. That signal's been yellow. They had Bakersfield at red. North Bakersfield's an S control point. Finally cleared it, obviously. See Olive Drive down there. I am over in Oildale in the 08. At Oil Junction. This is where. Uh, Oil City Branch splits off in my playlist of exploring places and railroad history. I did one of my very first videos that I did for this channel was on the Oil City Branch so early that I shot it in the wrong format. I didn't even, I didn't even know I needed to do it in a landscape. But anyway... This is Oil Junction, and on the other side there, there's another electric lock right over there. That goes off onto what, what's called the Lanco Branch. It was originally the Meekler Southern, and it is the branch line that connects. Well, it's not a branch line, really. It's a connector from the uh, BNSF at their yard over to here with, to, because of Santa Fe and Southern Pacific operated the Oil City uh, jointly and they did it in uh, I can't remember now if that was alternating years or every five years they did the same thing out on the Arvin branch and on the Sunset but I believe it was alternating years here on the Oil City I know that all the uh, signal equipment out there was Santa Fe, the prints were Santa Fe. Because I did do a little work out there for American Signal Technologies after the branch lines were sold, as, or leased anyway, to San Joaquin Valley Railroad. But anyway, I shot the first video on this one in uh, late afternoon, early evening at uh, Woodford. And then uh, I followed, as I said, I followed a train from Woodford after dark all the way down the hill and I was going to come out here and shoot him but I ended up doing just a short I knew that since they sw uh, swapped crews at Edison they weren't going to be stopping in Bakersfield's yard office and I just barely beat him out here so I just did a little short with him coming up behind me and then uh, I saw this guy sitting in the siding out at Seiko is the next control point that way and that is looking north I figured I'd sit here catch him coming through oil junction toward North Bakersfield where double track starts all right hope you enjoyed those videos uh, here's the uh, URL to my patreon account I will also Link that in the description below along with my PayPal. And for those of you on uh, laptops and desktops that donate for the PayPal, just click on the donate button if you feel like donating to help out the channel. Things are expensive. So anyway, keep shooting me the ideas. Drop me comments below. Shoot me an email at motorport 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. I'll see you all later.